How you going, Cancer? We're going to do your quick read and see what comes out for spirit. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. You have a wish coming true, okay? That's beautiful in some sort of way. So trust your intuition, okay? And release any burdens at this present moment and beat to your own drum. That's beautiful in itself, which is absolutely beautiful, yeah? That's some sort of divine partnership coming in some sort of way, yeah? Keep coming back out. Yeah. Spirit says time to be happy. It's time to be happy. It's the best way to say that. Time to be happy. Run on your pursuit. You're a beautiful person and you deserve everything in life, and that's magnificent. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it there. I'm going to split the deck. I'm going to put that back in the middle. And um, the only cards we're going to pull is the um, the last cards. Otherwise, um, you get something that's coming in that's going to grow your mind, okay? You are hoping for it, okay? And you are thinking about it in that world and you are embracing that inner child and, and thinking about that future self. And in your heart, you're definitely thinking. Ooh, you're definitely thinking. You learnt the trials and tribulations. You have an abundant new beginning, okay? And that's magnificent. Spirit knows your heart motives to be true, which is why you'll have a wish coming. Okay, just um, planning or thinking of something at the present moment. Yeah, you have, you have serious happiness or positivity coming in some sort of way, okay? Yeah, look at that. The world... It's in the world. Something you're thinking about. Because there's pondering a thought. It's about the world in itself, which is complete. You're free at the present moment. So be enthusiastic. Don't trap yourself in your mind by anything. There is love coming eventually, okay? Because look, it's a counterpart to the king, to the queen in itself, which is beautiful. So beat your own drum. Trust your intuition at the present moment, okay? You're, you're fierce, which is beautiful in itself. The past may be thinking at the present moment. Okay, they may be receiving justice in some sort of way, but that's all right. You know, it's not really a time to think about that sort of stuff. All their illusions will be released, okay, and that's your success, okay? So protect your energy leading into the future at the present moment. Sometimes spirit won't allow people to see you as a blessing for certain reasons. Spirit just does it like that for certain reasons. Let's come back out again. Release any burdens from the past. Okay. You have a universal wish coming. You have a real wish coming. And it's planning to step off in some sort of way. Because I've got the two of ones to the three of ones. The past only led you towards your future. Yeah. I mean, the past is ending out. Yeah. And that's fair. The past is what give you your transformation. Okay. It might have been around a family or friends. Um, the king of cups in reverse. Could have been a, a drunk and alcoholic. Could have been somebody emotionally abusive. The love's in reverse there from the past. It did make you sad. Okay, but they were just a little too passionate for other people. And that's fair. That's why the tower moments come in. Okay, to heal your heart because you're walking away. The past may be thinking about walking back to you at the present moment, but you are healed. Okay, because that four of swords is in reverse. So it, uh, it is your strength to heal at the present moment. Which is beautiful. An extra card for them. Top. Overlining energy is the whole reading as you heal. Look, you have a ten of cups coming, and, and that's beautiful in some sort of way. It's absolutely beautiful because look, it's an abundant new beginning for you. Ten of cups, and then happiness and positivity. We've got to ask a few questions about that card there in itself. Okay, the things that are in the past that have been ended out only ended out because you're ferocious, you're fierce, your strength, your beauty, and you're in that, and, in, and that's your transformation. Because that's a reversal, so it did end in some sort of way. Yeah, your heart's beautiful. All right, it's absolutely beautiful. And in that heart, we do have C walking away, okay, in itself. Maybe it can look like the past is coming back in some sort of way, all right? And some sort of change in foundation, man. I'm telling you the truth. In your world, there's a change in foundation that's about to take place. So it says release any burdens. Your heart motives to be true, which is fantastic. You're just a soul on its journey. That's fantastic. So everything comes around these two cards here. Release burdens from the past. It was ended for a specific reason. There was no love there in itself. It does show that thoroughly. It does show that um, they were like emotionally unavailable or something. Because with the Eight of Cups in that heart, some of your past may be walking away and then regretting their choice later on. They were, there's fears that block that momentum. They may have felt caged, escapism and avoidance in some sort of way, but still in 
feeling stuck, you know. It's the best way to say that because it is a, that's what it's our moment coming. You have a universal wish coming. I'm telling you the truth. Spirit knows your heart and motives to be true because that's a gift from the universe and it's choosing joy and that's joy leading into the future and it's beautiful because it leads to a 10 and an abundant new beginning in some sort of way. It's the best way to say that. The things of the past were just unfilled, unfulfilled desires. You might have been dealing with somebody smug. They didn't appreciate the simple things in life. But it gives you a chance to find rocket fueled positivity and optimism and leading into the future because you're a grateful heart that gives gifts are coming in on there on their way. It's real gifts too, by the way. So whatever the things of the past that ended out are only going to lead you to the lead you to this new gift in some sort of way. Because I've got two nines here which are like real good. That's like being free to make get the get the wish and spirit knows your heart and motives to be true. So release any burdens from the past because it's completed. And they're like emotionally abusive. It's the best way to say that. They were controlling or they're suppressing their emotions. They were feeling insecure, which projected onto you. They needed to listen more. They were rational. They were emotionally immature. And they were forgetting the heart in, instead of the mind, you know, and that's the best way to say that because that's what leads us into the future. And they might have been very moody. It's the best way to say that. Might have been a drunk or an alcoholic or something something with um, something in, in some sort of way. They are regretting. It stepped off for some reason, but that's all right. You, you get to step off into the future, which is fantastic in itself. There's growth coming into your mindset, and that is the truth because there's the embracing yourself, and then there's the growth coming in, and then there's you addressing whatever shadows to have that enlightenment, that beautiful perspective, which is fantastic. But the truth from the past, there's no love. That's why it had to complete out because they're just that's why Spirit's saying release any burdens from the past. It had to end for a specific, very specific reason. That page of. Uh, a page of wands there is um, somebody trying to limit your beliefs. They were trying to block your ideas. It gave you a chance to direct your energy in the right way, which is beautiful. But they were giving you a hard time some, some, in some sort of way. And it's around some sort of love because the love's in reverse from the past cards. And that's why Spirit says release any burdens. Can't wait to see what's in that outcome. Yeah, it's coming into the growth of that mindset. Everything from the past of them stabbing you in the back and hurting you and putting you down only led you to the movement of victory because of their illusions. So it's a time to release any fears, all right? It's the best way to say that. Release any fears. It's a learning curve, okay? You're the abundance. Yeah, they were ostracizing you. They were teasing you. They were putting you down. They are manipulating you in some sort of way, yeah? In some sort of way. That's all right. It's the way it's supposed to happen. Just trust me on that. Just trust me. Yeah, manipulate. Block that mindset. Okay, we've got the eight to the eight in some sort of way, which is your victory of a star. You have some sort of real success coming, right? It's your victory to get that success. So release any fears, release any burdens because we've got victory with success and it's coming in fast. So just remember that. So don't be trapped in the mind from the things of the past. It only led you to who you are as a soul, but you are divinely guided and that's fantastic because you give and receive to the universe. And in that, you're divine from this card to this card because these go unforeseen into this. It shows why you stepped off from the three of wands to the three of wands into your own direction. With the Empress in itself, and it's fated for you to have good luck. You have fated good luck coming. Look, it's the happiness there. It's it's a beautiful new love in some sort of way, and it's fated, okay, with some sort of Empress, Emperor, and some sort of divine count of soul. What's the best way to say that? So it's not a time to be depressed, okay? We've walked away from things that no longer serve us for a certain reason, and that's the best way to say that, okay? You're manifesting beautiful things, so be fearless at this present moment, because that's fearless. It's the same card that just came out then, so be fearless. Things of the past only lead you towards who you are as a soul. And that's the best part about it. it. Doesn't say too much there in theory. Of just it's completed. That's the best way to say that. It's something trapping in the mind. Okay, and that's around communication. There was illusions there. Now we got to talk about this card. I'm gonna pull a complete new deck. So because it does show something sad around. Um, um, some sort of love in some sort of way. Yeah, somebody ostracized you. Somebody put you down. Yeah, with delusions. It's like options in some sort of way. So use your logic at the present moment. Somebody treated you like an option. They left you out in the cold. Or they're planning to leave you out in the cold into the future or something like that. But at the end of the day, everything happens for a certain reason. But you've got hope in that, real hope in that world, okay? And you're manifesting that at the present moment. So understand that beautiful things are really about to happen with those yeah there it is there
These are the beautiful cards, man. I'm telling you the truth. These are all the beautiful cards. Divine judgment just means you're free, if that makes sense. And that's definite free. That's inner peace. And that's that's joy and happiness and choosing joy. You've learned the lessons and that's beautiful. Okay, release any burdens and step in the right direction. That five of cups because the five to the five. So somebody treated you like an option and they left you out the cold or in some sort of way. Okay, and that's that's okay. It's only led you towards your growth. See the growth in the mindset? It's the same card here to the same card here. It's to your growth. They stabbed you in the back. That's why the tower moments in the world, spirit can't have that for you. No, that's why you're asked to move away. Okay, you put the hard work and determination in and the illusions only led you towards a lot of depression. So therefore, we'd want to complete that out, all right? That's fair because it is a sad time and at the present moment, these, these readings change, all right? This is not a reading for everybody, that's for sure. But these readings change eventually, like as soon as we address the shadows. So whatever is here because there's shadow work that needs to be done in that heart. Okay, we've learned the lessons in the mindset, which is beautiful, but the heart is um, a little sad. And that's okay because we can see why. Okay, there was a lot of illusions there, which is why the movement had to take place. Okay, the Ten of Swords is there because somebody stabbed you in the back. Big time, you know, nines of depression, worries, and, and eights have been trapped in the mindset. Seven of delusions and deceptions. Five of hollow victories and fighting. And you can see everything that happens only grows you to be the beautiful soul you are because whatever it was trapping you in the mind, and that's why Spirit says you've got be beautiful joy and happiness, positivity coming into the future, and it's coming in fast. Okay, so protect your energy. The whole thing from the past is good news, leading towards protecting that energy, and that's beautiful because it's leading towards this card in itself. Release any burdens at the present moment. It's your best success at this present moment is to release any burdens. Okay, you, you co-create with the divine, and, and that's divine movement, and there's co-creation. And that's clarity for somebody. You have a divine, beautiful gift, a divine, beautiful mind in some sort of way. It's a divine, beautiful mind. You do co-create with the divine, so remember that. So it's not a time to leave yourself out or ostracize yourself or, put, ostracize yourself or put yourself down because we've got the three to the three, which brings us to that. If you're juggling thoughts at the present moment, just understand that there's equilibrium coming into the future and it's your victory to receive that. Okay, so beat your own drum and be unapologetically you. There is love coming into the future. Okay, and it's going to be a family in some sort of way with somebody that really, really knows how to love and that's beautiful. Okay, that's the best way to say that. Okay, because we do have a Ten of Cups leading to um, uh, uh, the, the sun there, and that is the wish fulfillment. That is big time wish fulfillment because no matter what, no matter anybody, you're a spiritually guided soul. Yeah, um, as long as you listen to the readings and as long as you take on the, the what's, in, what's involved and listen to the readings, then, then you get to be free, if that makes sense, to be able to make your own choice. The spirit in itself can lead you to the best things you could ever possibly imagine. And spirit is literally trying to lead you to the best thing you could ever possibly imagine in your entire life. So any type of illusions need to be released. And that's the best way to say that we can't manifest out of our mindset because we manifest out of our heart while our heart is thinking so hard, if that makes sense, about something walking away or a tower moment in some sort of way, okay? And there's definitely thoughts there, we've got to be honest. But everything leads us to the growth of the future. And in that growth is definitely, because that's the growth, same card there. And there's the hope leading to the future, and that's beautiful. But whatever you're dealing with there is a childish actions in some sort of way. They were limiting your beliefs, okay? They're blocking your ideas. They need to direct your, redirect your energy. Judgment has been called on that situation. That's why Spirit's saying release that, because you are free. Um, there might have been like illusions and masks, okay? It's in some sort of way, illusions. But it's your movement away from that, which is your success. And in that, it's beautiful. So don't ostracize yourself. This tower moment was there so you can protect your energy from anybody that wants to put you down and manipulate you, because that in itself is victory as the equilibrium spins back around to victory to come to the the star, the, that sun, that hope, that beautiful positivity leading into the future. There is a family coming in or in some sort of way or a friendship or love or happiness or positivity in some sort of way because that's that's in happiness in relationships and that's happiness and positivity leading into the future. So everything that ended out from the past with no love had to happen that way so that way you could get exactly what's rightfully yours, if that makes sense. Have a look at the outcome, then we'll pull the final card. Something quick reads today. Yeah, man. Somebody put a lot of conflict or competition in your life, okay, and they're being judged for that, okay, but you're just going with balance and harmony at the present moment uh, in between that sun and the moon. See the moon here and the sun? The moon and the sun, you are there right here because this is how the reading goes. This is you right here, and that's the moon. And that's the sun. We can see the temperance angel is watching over you, keeping you safe. And that's that's the best way to say it. everything's a learning curve in itself. The spirit's saying just balance out that with mindset, and that's beautiful in itself. We might be shutting ourselves off from the world a little bit, but that's okay. The joy is coming into the future in itself, okay? So, and you're manifesting big time, okay? So just understand that you are manifesting big time, yeah? A lot of uh, flirtatiousness, happiness, positivity coming into the future. It's the best way to say that, okay? And same cups uh, right there in itself. So. 
just watch out for any delusions or any any anybody trying to stop or because spirit saying protect your energy at the present moment leading into the future okay it's a very specific message for somebody but definitely protect that energy okay you are the light and in that light is your happiness and positivity because you continually grow and that's clarity clarity because you've got equilibrium the whole thing comes down to equilibrium and happiness and positivity within that self and we can definitely see in the outcome that that's the balance of life that happy uh, happy go lucky happy positivity in itself and nobody should be putting conflict or competition into your life so you can end that sort of stuff out because these are the past cards and it shows that as you settle towards your future okay if that had been in reverse it would be different it'd be no conflict no competition but it's in it's in upright so it does show that so just balance those scales out in itself okay because here you're free. You're free from any manipulation. Seekers, look, spirit's got your back. And that's healing in itself. And there's a manipulation of the past here in itself. So you're healing from that. And that's that card there. So you can be free. It's the best way to say that. Be free. And be unapologetically yourself and never ever change because that's that card there. Be unapologetic. And there's the past. And there's the sadness. And that's that card there. So it does put emphasis on why, okay? Why, why are we a little bit sad at the present moment? That's okay. The whole reading changes, right? When we understand what life really is, all right? Now, what? that's not a being rude. It's just more along the lines of um, somebody needs to hear this message today. It's the best way to say that. That whole outcome changes with the aspect of life. So when tomorrow, when you wake up and you're happy and positive and everything like that, that's what I mean. It's a very specific message for somebody. That whole outcome changes, okay, because of the illusions. And all Spirit's saying in this whole reading is these cards here and this card here. These two and that card there. Everything else is opposing energies. And Spirit's saying you're free. Your, your soul is free because that's what that card is in itself. And you're free to be unapologetically yourself and learn the lessons and step onto the direction. Whatever love, whatever manipulation was that was from the past, whatever it is, was not good for you and that's fair okay you're being treated like an option or manipulated in some sort of way with delusions and therefore the eight of cups does show walking away upright but turned around it does show walking backwards so the past may be in regret later on but it's up to you do what you got to do boo so at the end of the day but that whole outcome of the future changes once the aspect of that mindset and that heart changes because every single thing on here is lining those seven chakras up to the vortex of your energies and 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 bringing all the houses into into um, fruition if that makes sense we are in a retrograde at the present moment so watch out for any manipulation with illusions and things like that where people are stabbing you in the back and stuff like that but we do i'm telling you the truth you've got a wish coming into that future like there's no tomorrow and spirit saying just protect your energy at present moment and release burdens and that's literally it between this card this card and this card is the same cards here except the difference is, is you're protecting that energy into the future and from the past in itself because you've got to move away from things that trap you in the mind you can't manifest um with um stupid thoughts in our minds and what does that mean uh, if you're sitting down worried about people calling text and moving uh, and relationship ending things like that um, it's just time to release them and let them go let them give them to the universe and just have that hangman attitude and just release it to the cosmos and let 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 what be let what be if that makes sense yeah it's in the outcome there in itself somebody pulls trying to put conflict into your life or competition and that's why the same two cards are just here out of two different decks and they're in the outcome so it does show thoroughly what spirit's trying to say here in itself just balance out anything that plays on your mind with manipulation but because you're free because there's the same card there in itself and there's you healing from that manipulation leading into the future okay so that's all spirit wants you to do in this reading is just balance out any anything that's trapping you in that mind you are a universal wish and that's fair you are in itself we'll put these guys back and that's all spirit wants at this present moment for this reading in itself. And that's why the tower moment's there. It's in the world and it's also in the past leading to the future. That's why the tower moment's there, okay? And that's fair, okay? It's, it was hindering your growth or stopping you from growth. With There's your victory in itself, okay? And it does show why the tower moment's there. It was hard work. You put a lot of hard work and determination in, but you're free at the present moment. See, it's the same card in the outcome, the same card there, the same card there. It shows why that tower moment has to come in in some sort of way, which is fair in itself because of the deception. There was somebody, some, somebody somewhere is deceiving you. Right? And that's not fair. You're free to be yourself and be unapologetically you. And we don't we don't want no illusions if it makes sense because you're in abundance. I'm telling you the truth. You are the abundance. And you should always be seen on that. And that's why spirit has to step you off from the two to the three. So plan for your future at the present moment because you are the abundance. Okay, because it's coming in fast. The whole, the whole past here from this card here is this centered around that card there, which is that card there, okay? So the abundant new beginning is coming, okay? Because that's a brand spanking new beginning that's going to help you grow in life, which is beautiful in itself, but it does show thoroughly um, just to release it. Let, let spirit take it, okay? You should just know your worth. You are the stability of that that pentacle there. That's the roots in the ground growing and then still stability. We can see that you've learned the trials and tribulations, which is beautiful, and there's something coming into the future that's going to hold tight to you, and that's beautiful, but we are a little bit sad. It's the same card here. We've got to be honest about it. A little bit sad at the present moment, and all we've got to do is clear that up. Okay, we've been being fierce. Same card there, the same card there. Same cards are coming out. 
from the start, from the first start of the reading, are coming out in a complete fresh deck. So it does show somebody out there's a little sad at the present moment, and it's um, just to be fearless at the present moment. You're a bold confidence, okay? You've got some sort of abundance, some sort of happiness, or some sort of positivity coming in, and you are that um, Venus energy of love and devotion, okay? So be fearless at the present moment, and don't allow things to play on that mind. If somebody wants to leave you out in the cold, let them leave you out in the cold. It's the best way to say that. You are really, honestly, a universal wish, and Spirit's about to bring that in big time, and that's why Spirit's saying have that equal balance in life. Because in the heart, man, I'm telling you the truth, something's coming in to offer that cup of love. And that's the best way to say that. It's coming in to offer that cup of love. And it's around the Ten of Pentacles, which is beautiful because i got the Ten of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles to the joy to the happiness. But, uh, it's all spirits saying it's been divinely guided. And the best way to say that, okay, to offer that cup at the present moment, which is beautiful, which is beautiful. There's just uh, the tower moments there for a very specific reason at the present moment in this reading. But that's okay to free that mind up. It's right there. It's right there in itself. It's just to free that mind up. So that way, um, you know, just protect your energy, okay? And there's the same card there to the same card, which is just here around protecting that energy from ostracizing about being left out in the cold as you complete it and heal. And those cards are in the outcome as well. So it does show that in your world, you are thinking, okay? You may be thinking about the tower moment that just happened in some sort of way because you're being made an option. Same card here, the same card here. You were being made an option in some sort of way and that's clarity. That's, that's the same card that's in between the options and the future here in itself and it's so to protect that energy. That's why the tower moment said to protect that energy. Same card there, the same card there, the same card there in itself, okay? And then that's the same card there. So it does show you've worked very, very hard on yourself. So just to release anything that doesn't play on that mind, doesn't allow you to breathe and be unapologetically yourself, okay? Beat to your own drum at the present moment, which is beautiful. And it does show good things are coming into the future, okay? So cut it down with your morals, cut them down with your integrity. You are hoping for um, some sort of... Um, what I just did that card today? What was that card? That card in itself. Well, I know exactly what that card is. It's settling the calamity. So whatever calamity is in that life at the present moment, also you're helping or wanting to do is settle it, okay? Because of the deceptions and the trickeries and the people come into your life with illusions. Literally, the cards speak for themselves thoroughly. So it's a very specific message. You've ended it out to be unapologetically yourself, which is beautiful in itself and have harmony in the outcome. There is something coming in, I'm telling you the truth, and it's going to be very, very exciting, but we're just a little sad at this present moment, okay? It's going to be very, very exciting. It's around some sort of divine love, okay? Because it did come out before, um, and you can see the cup's going to get offered to that heart, and they're going to hold true to your value, but in the outcome, we're just trying to balance those things out because the Ten of Pentacles is coming in. It's in the outcome, okay? So watch out for any manipulation at the present moment, okay? Around friends, families, okay? So don't, also, don't deceive yourself out of it too. You might be sad thinking you're ostracizing yourself too because that's kind of random that those three cards come out. So I've got to put it the way it's supposed to be then because you might be ostracizing yourself and leaving yourself out in the cold, which makes you sad. So in that sort of instance, don't allow that devil because the devil's within everybody. The devil's just manipulation. It's uh, the same devil that um, makes you keep, uh, makes an alcoholic keep drinking. Uh, it makes the cigarette smoker keep smoking. It makes the drug addict keep doing drugs. It's the devil. It's manipulation in some sort of way. It's, that's why um, we're all born free, if that makes sense. And, and as soon as you can smoke as much as you want, but when it becomes an addiction where you're relying on, you can drink as much as you want, but when it becomes an addiction, that's where it becomes unhealthy for your body, if that makes sense. So any type of ostracizing that you've put through leave it in the past and release any burdens and and also release any burdens around that mindset too because you may be overthinking things at the present moment around competition conflict and anything like that and that's fair okay because all spirits asking you to do is release that burden and whatever that burden is whatever that burden could be okay it could be anything it could be jelly beans if you have an addiction like i had that um, pink donut addiction for ages there and i couldn't stop eating pink donuts <laughs> Um, I needed to release that, yeah, um, in itself. See, that could, I'm a cancerian, that could be me, right? I'm dead set serious. That could be my addiction to the going to the gym. I'm absolutely hurt. I'm, like, my arms are killing me right now. Like, I, I train for four or five hours a day, and, and that could be, you know, that's the truth. So that manipulation in some sort of way can be addiction, vice, or something, okay, that stops you from celebrating being happy and bring it, creating that legacy into yourself, okay? And that's the truth. As we walk through, and Spirit is saying you are a beautiful, beautiful and amazing soul because that card's there, which Spirit knows your heart motives to be true and it's surrounded by a universal wish. All Spirit's saying is release any burdens of whatever that is. That's the best way to say that, okay? And it's your victory, okay? There may be something from the past coming back, but it also is in the world, okay? That whatever happened in the world here in itself, okay? Because there's the same card there from the past has only led you towards the victory because there it is right there. There may have been stabbing you completely in the back with deceptions come straight back out again, okay? With gossip, manipulation, and, and naivety in itself. But they may be apologetically at the present moment. We only got one more card to chuck on there because it's... There's something that's a victory, okay? Somebody may be offering a cup of love because it's also a cup of love that's been offered in the outcome and it's the victory to receive that. And so don't ostracize yourself out of it, but understand 
that you're a beautiful person, okay? Because it's the same card there, the same card there, and you've been just being asked to be unapologetically yourself, okay? And complete things out that no longer serve you. It's the best way to say that as you walk towards your journey. You are the you are working on yourself, which is magnificent, completing things out of the past in order to step on that journey and hold true to your values and morals. It's not a time to be sad. It's a time to be positive and happy and understand that you are beautiful no matter what. No matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody wants, you do have some sort of love that's kind of come in with beautiful communication, okay? It's going to offer that cup and it is a divine power cup, pa divine a partnership if that makes sense okay yeah beautiful it's just success it's a lot of people talking about your success at the present moment or talking about you in some sort of way and I do see that there thoroughly but just understand that you are a beautiful and amazing soul okay so whatever that vice is because this is a beautiful outcome I'm telling you the truth <laughs> even though we may be a little bit sad at the present moment okay this is a very very beautiful outcome Okay, because it just shows that you've stepped on for certain things and to just have balance. Okay, so that's what I mean. That's what I mean. This could be this could be um, holding to things from the past. Okay, there, that's the truth. And your victory is to move away from that and turn your back on it. Um, it could be holding on to drinking too much, thinking things like that. Okay, it could be definitely overthinking things in some sort of way because there is a cup of love coming in, and that's the truth. And you don't want to be overthinking it. And it does surround by a ten of pentacles, which is a beautiful, abundant relationship. But all spirit saying is to release any burdens. Okay, that trap you in that mind because it's the same card at the start to the same card over, over, and over, and over again. You are free, and so don't allow that devil to play. And it's double devils in there, so just heal. Just know that spirit's got your back. It comes down to faith in itself, okay? And I'm dead set serious. You're a beautiful, beautiful person because like the only cards that have come out is anything around manipulation. And the best part about that is you can end that just by knowing your worth and knowing what you deserve in life, okay? And that's the best way to say that. You've worked on yourself so hard, so much, it's not funny and you deserve the most beautiful things you could ever possibly imagine in life, see? Have a lovely, beautiful day. Take care and God bless.